making a consistent characters with AI is still a challenging thing and it doesn't matter if you're using a mid journey or a stable diffusion you will always face errors while making the consistent characters but today we have an exciting AI tool that allows you to make the consistent characters with just few clicks so what's this AI tool is let's find out okay so this AI tool is called the rendernet.ai uh, so this is their website i will also leave the link in the description below and if i scroll down these are some key features that this ai tool is offering like the face lock technology you can make the consistent characters always you can put on any face on any image using their face lock technology and next one we have the control net you can transform the pose of any image using the control net then it also offers you a multi-model generation and these are some more examples the endless possibilities with the render net so how can we access this one all you have to do just click on this create for free and sign up with your google account okay so once you are in you will have this interface in front of you so these are a couple of more features that this AI tool offers you like you guys can create a AI influencer that i have already told you in a couple of my videos but this AI tool makes it a lot easy to make the consistent characters then you can create the bokeh effect in the images iphone photography and the most important feature that i found in this AI tool that you have the control net so you can transform the pose of any image using the control nets then we have the face lock technology that keeps the character face consistent so first of all let's try the AI influencer feature so i'm going to click on the AI influencer and we will have this interface so first of all you have to upload your source image so this is the default image uh, so let's say I'm going to upload my own image. So this is my source image. And these are some instructions that we have to keep in mind while uploading our images. Uh, the character shouldn't be wearing any sunglasses or the shades. And the image should be a close-up of a person's face. Now we have to enter a prompt over here. So let's say I'm going to go ahead with the a beautiful Instagram model wearing glasses sitting on a couch. And I will add the keywords like the realistic, hyper-realistic and the photograph. And next we have the option to enter the negative prompt. So this is the default negative prompt and I think this one works best. And then you have to select the models. So on the left side you can see we have the model section. So you can click on that and here you guys can see we have a list of models that you guys can select. And these are all of the popular stable diffusion models. And you guys can also classify these models uh, with these filters like the anime, art, photo real, excel models. So I'm going to click on the photo real and these are some photo realistic models like the absolute reality, epic realism, juggernaut excel which is my one of my favorite models. So let's try the next photo. Well you also have the option to select the multiple models at a time but I will recommend you to go with the single model. And next we have the settings option and inside of the settings option you can select the seed numbers, you can select the image samplers so we have all of these popular image samplers so I'm going to go with the default and you can select the number of steps uh, like the 30 I would like to keep it around 30 you have the guidance scale and you can select the number of images then we have the option of the aspect ratio so I'm going to go with the 2 ratio 3 and next we have the LoRa models over here so these are some popular LoRa models over here like uh, the Cinema Excel, Detail Slider, add more details in it, Better Hands. So I think the Better Hands is a good one because in most of the cases the AI mess up with the hands. And from the top bar you can see we have the quality option. So, so right now this is selected the plus but you can go all the way to Ultra but this will cost you more credits. But I would like to go with the Ultra and hit Generate okay so these are the output results so this is the first image and if we look at that you can see it looks really really good uh, and this is the second image and you guys can also see the settings that we use to generate this image uh, so this is the third image and this is the last image it messed up with the hands in this image but in majority of the images it looks really really good now let's talk about changing the pose of our AI influencer and this time i will use the epic realism model and then we have to click on this control net and now we have to upload the reference image so this is my reference image and i want to match the pose of this image and if we scroll down here we have a few options what control net model you want to use like the normal canny depth open pose and these are a few more settings like the depth and the canny but i would like to go with the depth one then we have the control net mode where you can select the prompt is important for you or the control net is important for you but i would like to go with the balance one because the default settings works best for me and in the prompt section i will make some changes like a beautiful instagram model wearing glasses instead of sitting on a couch i will type standing and holding a cup of coffee and hit 
generate okay so these are the output images and now you can see this is exactly matching the pose of our reference image and the main thing that the character is consistent in all of these images and the hands looks really really good in all of these images now let's try this thing with any male character like the Lionel Messi so I'm gonna use this image of a Messi and in the control net I will upload this image and the prompt will be a handsome man and hit generate okay so these are the output images and <laughs> look at that in both of these images it looks very consistent the face is very consistent the character is consistent and it actually looks like a Lionel Messi so you guys can create the A influencer inside of this A tool you can change the pose of your A influencer you can make the consistent characters instead of a virtual influencers only and you can also use this A tool as your next A image generation tool so the possibilities are endless these were just a few examples and because this A tool works on a credit base so you guys can get 1000 credits in only $9 which is a really really good deal. So the link is in the description below. Go ahead and check this out. So that's it from this video. I hope you guys learned something new. And if you guys did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.